I just found out Android 12 for the Surface Duo 2 dropped. Let's get into it. Now everybody scream, no respect to the X. No respect given. Take a quick look at the Surface Duo 2 and its newly downloaded Android 12L. This came as a surprise to me, and I, I just want to go through some of the new features on the device, which make the device even better than it was before, and it was pretty good before. So I'm doing this with one hand, so please forgive me. I'm holding the phone to record in the author as it is an impromptu video. The first thing you notice with 12L, the uh, lock screen widgets or no notifications are pretty big. They're wider. Um, you do have the buttons moved, lock, flashlight, and the camera. We'll turn that back on real quick. Oh, I just unlocked it. Well, when you go into the menu there, once you get the the download. You have this nice little option here. It, it, it'll appear as a light bulb in the pull down menu. Let's just look at the pull down menu while we're in here. Um, as you see, everything now looks different. It's wider, more uh, sh sh streamlined, and this looks overall really, really good. Um, when you pull down, everything kind of moves around like with a uh, Android 12, like on my Pixel 8, things that seem more alive, more animated. Uh, you have your slide, slider bars here, as they were before. Just look really, really, really nice. You have your Wi-Fi. Uh, your device controls has its own button now, which is nice. Uh, you have your edit, your power, all on this little strip. No longer in the... Um, I, I assume you can still hold the power button to get to it, but it's nice that it's right here. It's front and center if you need it to be. The auto rotate used to be in a pull down menu on this side, and you actually have to pull it down, and it was a little box. Now it's clear, you can see it. I liked what they've done there. Now, when you go over, you have battery power, link to Windows, everything is just in a, its own little box and all of the icons are different. The screen record was definitely not that. Um, you have your night mode, your nearby share and a screencast. So all, you know, like I said, the entire pull down menu just looks different. Everything is bigger, more in, in your face, so to speak. So it's easier to see, no longer are you trying to uh, find where uh, the button that you want is. Now, in here, when I scroll back up, uh, here's my quick, my quick menu, that looks great. Uh, my Spotify that's playing. Yeah, your manage and your clear all. Now, what I was saying that there was a light bulb in there, which took you here to, to the see what's new. One thing that you can see, even before you, I go into that, let's go into the settings real quick. I know I was just here, but in the settings, you will notice that every icon is now a full color image. So again, things stand out more. They catch your eye more easily. It's, I mean, before it was a drawn image, you had your, the mic, Microsoft symbol, I, I don't even remember it being there, to be honest. Not that it wasn't, maybe it was simply, being that it wasn't these full color Im images, it didn't uh, stand out to me when I need to go into whatever menu I had to, I just instinctively knew where it was because I used the device so much. Um, let's go to About Phone, Surface Duo, uh, Build number, it did, there we go, Android 12. Live and in charge. Now, 
Aside from all of that, let's just go back into here and go into the what's new. Now here, as they show you, you are able to, like with the other Android 12 devices, choose a theme for your phone and have the colors of the phone match that theme. So everything is more uni unified color-wise. So let's go into your settings where we are in there already, wallpaper and style right here. And here you can choose your color palette, just like it says for lock screen and home and home screen. Let's choose a new wallpaper. Uh, let's choose this one. Why not? In interesting, press next. Uh, let's go to uh, home screen only. Press apply. Looks great. Now let's go to choose color palette. Now you you can see that when I press this, it gives you a preview of what your menus and your buttons are going to look like. Now, if you try these act, accent colors, let's try blue. There we go. So we have still red, but the accent color, we're able to adjust it to our liking in case we don't want the automatic color that it's trying to give us. You know me, I'll, I'll go with the more purple. But there, you can make your tablet or make your device more your own. Now, what else do they say here? So that is the change the style that you want, or you change the background and have the style of it match the background. Next, they have take a picture in low light. So your camera now has night vision. Now, if you mess with this camera before, you were able to download Pixel cameras to your device. So many of us uh, Surface 2 owners already had access to low light photography if we so chose. But it's nice that it's built in now for all those who maybe just be getting the device and, and don't want to have to download uh, Pixel APKs to try to get this uh, feature on their device is now here. And yeah, we'll go outside and, and we'll take a few few shots because it is uh, very early morning. I should be asleep, but this is pretty exciting. And we'll see exactly how these shots look taken from the Surface Duo camera now that we have a low light mode. It says that it kicks in automatically. You can't turn it on man manually, much like I think the iPhone had that. Uh, I don't know if it still has it, even though I have an iPhone, I'm actually recording this on an iPhone. I don't use it ne nearly enough to know of the I idiosyncrasies of the camera. But this one turns on auto mathematically when it detects there's not enough light to take a decent picture. So we'll see how that works. Now here, it says transfer Teams meetings quickly. Now, I don't use Teams, but I can see how this would be very helpful. You're on your call, you're in your office or wherever you might be, and you don't want to have to end the call. According to this, you simply trans, you tap join here on, on the phone and whatever uh, teams meeting you're in, whatever session, session you're in, will transfer to the phone and you can take it on the go without having to take your, uh, laptop or computer with you very handy for the business professional i i can see how something like this would be asked for and now microsoft has implement implemented it so you know can't go wrong with that at all again not a feature i can show you because i don't have i don't use teams for any anything i don't even know if i can call from teams without uh, being in that line of, of work 
I think that the last time I tried, it tried to direct me to use Skype. But uh, maybe. Now here is something that I like. We now have a pen menu. According to it, press the pen and you get a whole menu that pops up. That is so helpful. Because before it was press your pen and you were, you were able to select one app. For me, it was OneNote. I pressed the pen, I got the OneNote. I pressed it twice. I took a uh, screenshot. I think that still might be the case. Let's go twice. Yeah, twice still does the uh, screenshot if you so choose. But now when you, when you press it once, I'm gonna, let me get rid of it so you guys can see it. When you press it once, get a nice little pen menu with OneNote, create a page, screenshot, and Outlook. But the kicker is you, you can go into this page and actually change what you want in the menu. So you don't have to have this set of options. You can actually add anything else. So let me go into screenshot. Does it mean that I have the double click for a screenshot? I definitely don't need that. And let's just switch it to, just for the fun of it, uh, calculator. Because I do use my cal calculator quite a bit. Now we have it there. If I'm right, we just press back. And when I press the button, there goes cal calculator. So when you're, maybe you're, you're out to lunch or out to dinner, you, you need to divide the bill. That's the first thing I, I can think of. Quick, click on the pen, boom, you, you, you can pull up your calculator and do whatever uh, calculations you need to do. It might even be you're writing something on, on your other screen and you need to do whatever numbers are required. So right there, pull up that, do it, and you're good to go. Very easy, very handy. Now on this side, Oh, I just uh, showed you you guys that the ability to move things around. Well, actually, I didn't actually move anything uh, around. I just showed you how you can pull it up. But let's just do the mo movement. They say it's easy enough. Uh, let's put the cal calculator right here. And so you are able to, to choose... Uh, the placement of where you want these apps to be in the pen menu. To each their own, however you place it is, is up to you. But again, the option is there. Pers per personally, uh, I think the things on the end, at least on this end, it would probably what you go to the most. It's just really easy to grab, to touch on the screen you have, it's on the side. And anyway, but the option is there for you to do it. Now, the next thing that they have here is something that we all know. Press the button and you get your various notifications. When the Duo first launched, that wasn't an option. You could only get notifications from the mess messaging app and I think Outlook. There's things directly from Microsoft. Now, you are able to uh, get multiple applications, I think any com communication app on your device. You close it up. I don't think I actually have any messages because uh, you press the power button. Wait, let me the pen. Kind of in the way. You see the time, but I don't have any messages right now. But uh, that's where they would uh, appear. And the time is staying kind of longer, and I think it's a bit clearer too. I think they adjusted the font and the lighting on things like that. And I think they did. I don't even have my other device to send a message to myself so you can just see how it pops up and how it looks. But, um,. Ooh, you saw that? 
Just like this. Ooh. Didn't even mean to do that. Oh, I do like the way they did that though. They took some of the animations from 12 l When we just entered the phone, we saw the wave uh, come or the drop or the ripple come from the middle of the device and spread it itself out. Uh, 12 and Android 13 on my Pixel A has a lot of that, and I love those little additions to when you plug in things, when things move, it just again brings the phone to life, makes it feel like a much more organic experience. And, and so far, this does something very similar. Um, but I think that's it. There weren't any other tips that they wanted to show. Uh, if, if you have a Surface Duo, just know that this is now available to you. Uh, dark theme. Can I change it to light theme? Oh, yes, I can. Ooh, light theme. That is a nice purple. Maybe I should stay with that. Huh. Maybe for a little bit. Yeah, so this is just a quick view of what is new or what Microsoft wants to show you is new. I know there's a lot more there to unpack with this new update, but now you have a quick look at what the devices can do. Let's close that down. Love the an animation of that. Love the new background. Looks one wonderful. Um, yeah. So with that said, my name is NG, the Neon X, and just quickly exploring some of the new additions to Android 12L on the Surface Duo and Surface Duo 2. This is what I'm into.